welcome back to another episode of Underworld RPG. We'll be playing for about 40 minutes, 45 minutes today, and actually I might even play for an hour for you guys. Uh, I don't want to make this video too long, um, because a lot of people tell me that, you know, the videos are too long, and they don't want to sit down for an hour, and I'll watch the whole video. So, um, let's talk about stuff. I haven't played this game in a while. And I believe we are playing on Mattathus? I think. I think we are. I have not checked for a new version in a month. So hopefully I'm playing on the right version. If I'm not playing on the right version, please correct me in the comment section as well as leave me a like and all that good stuff. So this is the character that we are playing as, right? Uh, broadsword, heavy crossbow. Okay, I think it is, right? Okay, it is. So we were down here. I remember we were down here. I think I do have an, enough clothing to stay out for quite a while. So I remember we were all the way down here. And is, that, is this all the food that we've got? Okay, we had 32 fistfuls of uh, broad beans sitting there for us. It, it looks like I started to build a house. I really don't remember anything. I probably should have went back and uh, watched the video. But I don't remember anything that happened from last time. Also, I might start up another series with Unreal World RPG. And I'll do that. Um, it's going to be kind of like a run out and kill everything type of thing. Um, massacring basically everything that I find. Human, animal. Get a fully jacked out character with some nice gear. And I think something like that would be really fun to watch. It's really fun for me to uh, play as. And I, would, I wouldn't mind that at all. It would be very, very fun. So yeah, it's been a month and a half, I think. Yeah, about a month and a half since I last picked up this game. Since I last gave it the, uh, double, the double tap on the left click. So, yeah. And I remember this place was frozen over. We are in winter. But thankfully, I have enough clothing to uh, stand out here and not get frostbitten. I think... Am I wearing a male coif? Okay, no. I'm wearing my leather and fur stuff right now. And I believe fur does protect better against the elements than leather does. I could check, but heck, I don't want to. Or maybe I should check. Is it shift I? Carrying the following items. Uh, okay, so I can examine it. Well, let me examine. Okay, protection against cold. So that is a yellow warm. And let's see. Let's look at the leather. Okay, so we're wearing a leather boot. Alright, so that's... A little bit, you can see it's two sliders, less protective. Hope my voice didn't get too low there, but it's two sliders, less protective. So fur actually is better keeping you warm than that is. I'm not sure if I was going to leave these pots down here. I think I said I was going to leave these two pots down here. As well as all this uh, other stuff, you know, kind of strewing around here. I think I said I was going to leave all this stuff here, so... I will do just that. Also, once again, if you guys have suggestions for games you're liking this Let's Play, please, please, please leave me a like and a comment. It really helps. It really helps out a lot, and it really means a lot when you guys click that. Click the like button, click comment. You know, it really helps and it really means a lot, guys. Also, if you haven't seen the previous episodes, make sure you click on the link above to visit the playlist as well as a random video by me. Also, you can check out my brother's YouTube. He's currently not uploading, but he will be in a few days. So you can go ahead and check out his YouTube. It is on my page right now, on my main uh, channel page. So yeah, I can't, I don't remember. Is this the guy? Yes, okay, it is the one with the horrible skills. So I was thinking of going like full on maybe owl or steel tribe. 
I know there's another tribe. It's with a K. K Kunalayan? Kun it's like, uh, I don't know how to, I don't know how it's pronounced, but it's like, it's with a K. And they're more powerful than the Owl and Seal tribes. They're pretty much the buffest characters that you can have. And they're pretty much all their stats are 90s. I was thinking of doing that, setting myself up with the best star, going into a town and completely attacking people. See how far I get. Because I think that would be a very fun thing to do. Very fun thing to watch. I mean, it's never been done before. So, I think that would definitely be a fun thing to uh, experiment with. Okay, let's go ahead and build the top of this house I've been trying to stop myself from saying off oh, and I haven't done this commenting thing in like a month so I am saying oh a lot I don't know it does feel weird when you get back into the whole commentating thing to kind of just be talking to nobody really although you guys are my audience and I really am the one talking to you but I don't know it just feels weird right now was I going to make some knives down here? I think I was going to make some knives down here. Is that why I gathered up all the rocks? Is there 15 over here? Oh, uh, yeah, there is. Okay, I think I was trying to make knives down here. Then We're going to have to do that quickly, and we're going to have to do it right now. I actually need some water. Sorry, I have to go to the skills menu and then go to the thing. Sorry if that gives you guys a little bit of a heart attack. I don't know the shortcuts for any of them. So, that's just the way I do I'm really sorry if that gives you guys a headache or anything like that. What is this? Oh, yeah, that's where I tried to build the farm, but it didn't quite work. Well, we have a little bit of seeds over here, and I think that is from the agriculture game event. Yes, it is. But we will not be able to complete that for quite a long time here. Let's go ahead and grab my broad beans and uh, start making our primitive core. So as for games like in the future, I was planning on doing The Sims, also a few other games that I might find on sale on Steam. I will definitely pick up maybe an EU4 series, any games that you guys suggest. I really like seeing what games you guys like and seeing if I like them when I play them. So. I know I'm not always going to like games that you guys like, and you're not always going to like the games that I like. But, you know, it's, it's interesting to see what you guys play and what games you guys prefer. And gals, if, anyone, if, if any gals are actually watching. So, I believe we can use arrows with this crossbow. I really want to test it out, but I have a feeling that we're going to miss really bad. Do we have Oath of Iron? We need to see if we have Oath of Iron. Oath of Iron. Where is Rituals on here? Rituals, Rituals, I. So we do have the Oath of Iron. Okay. Did I turn all those into cords? No, I did not. So we'll go ahead and turn those into cords right now. I might even want to turn this music down just a little bit so you can guys can uh, hear me a little bit better. Okie dokie. Let's head up to these villages over here. Oh no, I'm getting fatigued. What is that from? The crossbow's a pretty heavy thing. Oh, it's from the, the beans. And also snow gives you fatigue. Come on, load. Yeah, I don't know. I might do some videos on Dwarf Fortress, the newer version. Are you going to load anything? Not responding? I might do some videos on things like Dwarf Fortress. There we go. Finally, things like Dwarf Fortress because of the new versions. What are you, Is he going to yell at me for something? What did he just say? All right, I hope he didn't say anything bad to me because he is going to start trying to kill me. What's the button for it? Is it... I'm thinking Dwarf Fortress controls right now. Ah, oh, what is it? It's not in here. Which 
which I'm actually surprised about. Is it C? Okay, it is C. Alright, buddy, how you doing? I'm listening. Disre disreputable traveler? What did you just call me? With that big axe you've got on your shoulder there? You're a very strong man. I'm listening, disreputable traveler. What do you want? I guess you came to see me to learn the new ritual you have learned. To perform the new ritual you have learned. People talk about the links. Still teach me my ritual. What? You're disrespectful. All I did was steal from your farms, you pansy. That's not a big deal. You're just a little baby. You're gonna cry because you stubbed your toe or something. Fine, be a douche canoe, man. I don't care. You don't want to teach me? Then fine. I'll just do it in the northern villages where they actually like me. Okay. So I think those are the handles. Right? They are used as handles. I'm surprised that these background musics aren't, like, copyrighted, because these are well-known songs. Like, I heard Let It Go In Here, and I heard... Oh, um, this is Adele. I don't know which... Oh, you guys are going to yell at me for this. I don't know what song this is, but it's Adele. Okay, branches are the handles. But yeah, I'm surprised that the piano track for it... I guess the bot doesn't spot it when it's only the piano. So, what do you guys, you guys have plans for the weekend? Yeah? I don't know, also, I don't really, I don't know if I've ever talked about this before, but I like to record the videos the day I put them out, and that just helps me stay current with things that I'm doing, unless I record with, like, friends and I decide to upload, like, a highlights video. That's also another thing. When I record with other people, I really don't like to do Let's Plays with other people because a lot of the times they are on at the same time I'm on. And it gets very hard to a point, you know, we can only play like an hour or two each day, which isn't bad. That's quite a few episodes in a Let's Play. That's like two episodes, three episodes there. But I just don't like that because you both have to be able to get on at the same time. And sometimes we're not able to do that. So I like to just record in one big one hour, two hour session and get that uploaded in like a 10 minute highlights video. I like stuff like that. Especially when I'm playing with other people, trying out new games. You know, I, I, I don't know. I just prefer to make things like that. And it makes it... So I actually want to edit the videos, and I actually surf through all of that to where when I'm doing Let's Plays, I don't really go through the footage, look at it. I mean, if there's something that I know I have to edit out, I'm definitely going to go back and edit it out if I have to, you know, do some sound management. I will definitely do that as well, but usually I don't go back, do any visual edits with Let's Plays. So, you know, that also helps me with things like editing. So we're gonna have to make a hole in the morning, but we should be able to get by for today. Hopefully this won't ruin my schedule. Oh no, it looks okay. So yeah, only one problem with these beans is that they weigh a ridiculous amount. I don't know, maybe I'll do some, like, old games with you guys. Do you remember Roller Coaster Tycoon? Things like that, maybe? That was a very fun game. I played it a lot. I have the second expansion, which is, like, loopy roller coasters. Why am I... Wait, 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 wait. wait. Why am I even talking about... Oh, I tried to make a chord. That's not gonna work. Why am I even talking about old games when we're playing Unreal World? This is what happens when I play Unreal World for... What, 50 videos? Jeez. Yeah, I don't know if you, I've ever told you guys, but pretty much the only time I play Unreal World is when I'm recording for you guys. So you're pretty much seeing everything I do in Unreal World. I haven't 
really worked on my single player character when I'm not recording. I haven't really worked on him too much. But I might want to do something like that and kind of show you what a more developed character looks like when I actually try to play the game. Because when I try to commentate and do things at the same time, sometimes that doesn't turn out well for me. And if you've tried talking and playing a game, you know, concentrating on something, it's very hard. And I find that problem when I record, like, FPS games. When I actually just sit there and be quiet, it's not as entertaining to watch, but I do a lot better. So let's, I just want to get this northern wall finished, and I'm going to head back up to my base on the northern side. I hope I picked enough green beans to last us. Broad beans, not green beans. Ah, oh, crap. We only have, like, 18 left. We might be a little bit starved when we get up there, but we should be able to regain it quickly. I just want to get this finished, so that way when I come down, I don't have to do it again. Once again, I want to set up more outposts like this. Was I going to make that? I don't know. Now I have the question. Was I going to make that into a real house? Or was I just going to make it into a foraging hole? Or a little foraging corner? Now I can't quite remember what I was going to do with that. Okay, so let's pick up this raft. We already have an inferior powder. Let's go ahead and drop the raft. Alrighty, let's get out of here. Let's skedaddle. So, let's see. Oh boy. We have uh, quite the ways to go. I don't think I actually have enough food to get up there, to be, to be quite honest. TBH. Oh, uh, yes. I, I'm gonna run out of food. It's not good. Maybe I should go out further than I am right now. Yeah, so maybe I'll play some, like, old-school games for you guys. So I like those. God, we gotta get out of here. You know, maybe Daggerfall on DOSBox, Roller Coaster Tycoon. Oh, boy, do I have to get out of here? Jeez, oh, that just wasted a ton of time. And this is the problem because the islands are usually on this southwest corner. And I have a feeling that they're going to be all the way along here and I'm not going to be able to do anything. Yeah, it actually looks like they're all along the southwest end. Which is going to be a big problem. Oh boy, this is going to be a fun episode to watch, isn't it, guys? And gals. Okay. Oh boy, this is going to be a pain. This is going to be a real, real pain, I am telling you. Oh, I also saw that Space Station 13, one of the creators... The original creators, that one from the Goon Station, actually started his own website. And I learned that it's going to be featuring updates soon. Especially with the character models and the way the game works with them. Oh, God, God. Because right now, you know, you're, you have your basic character. So, basically, the whole art design from what I saw from this website and a bunch of other things are going to change aside from that. But mainly the art design is what I saw it was one of the first things. It's something that he wants to change. So, I don't know if we're going to be seeing an update soon. Not entirely sure on that. 
that would be very fun if space station 13 gets an update i will definitely do it on that and when dwarf fortress goes stable i want to do videos on that already it's amazing it's just it's got so many bugs and once again dwarf fortress is one of the one of these games rogue you know one of these rogue uh, it's not really a rogue game, but it's one of these games, these indie games, is a better word for it, that, you know, is only made by one person, so it is kind of hard for him to pick out bugs by himself, but he is working very hard, he's getting out tons and tons of bug fixes for us, and he's, he's doing a great job, Tarn Adams, man. He's a pretty good game developer. I think he's doing amazing with the new Dwarf Fortress. So once that, you know, gets to a final release, I don't think it will by at least, like, September. Maybe even further than that. Maybe November or October. But I don't think a final release is going to be done for quite a while. He's still got to bring out a few of the uh, optimization things with the world history because right now it generates history as you play the game and that causes severe frame lag at times. So, you know, that is obviously one of the main concerns that I have being I don't have the best processor. Heck, I've talked to some of my friends who even have, you know, three times as better processors as mine, and they still get that lag there. So, you know, there are always going to be things that he's going to have to work out, but he is working hard towards it, so. God darn! I really don't think we're going to have enough food to get all the way up here, but we're almost there. We're almost there. Gotta stretch out my food. And this is what sucks about winter. Short days. And I'm only going 3 kilometers an hour, which is quite a problem. That is a very slow speed. Usually I go 6, but I think that's because I choose agility buff characters. So I think agility has a role to play in how fast you go. And it looks like you go just as fast as walking, really. I can't run on my watercraft. Well, that is a saddening thing to know. Oh boy, we're almost there. Look! We are like Christopher Columbus. We have traveled the world. We're heading to the uh, Bahamas right now. We'll be there. Or maybe we're just a Finnish barbarian, and we're finding the new world. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that. We're a Finnish barbarian. That sounds a lot better. So yeah, I think I, I will definitely do some of the strategy games that I got, like EU4. That'll be quite a popular one, with extended timeline. Probably play modern days, like some huge superpower country. A settlement. Oh, okay, right there. Uh, maybe I can trade... Oh, wow, this one's on an island. That's weird. Maybe I can trade my knives for something useful here. Wow, I like the winter pictures for these. Very nice. Very, very, very nice. Oh, dried pikes. Nice. Smoked burbot. So it looks like I might be able to get a little bit of food. Do they have any tools that I could buy? I'm more interested in the tool side of things because I believe I have enough food stockpiled uh, for... If they had leather, I'd use it or buy it. For, I think these guys only have fur. I need to talk to their shaman. Greetings! Ooh, <laughs> oh my god! Burp? That was nasty. Uh, greetings, stranger. What's on your mind? I guess you came to see me to learn to perform the new ritual you have learned. Uh, so, yes, teach me the ritual. So, it looks like these guys don't hate me. What do you know about foreign traders? No, I really haven't been told, uh, a lot about them. I think you know more about them than I do. So, what about the links? You don't know anything? Who are you? You're Cole Ervo. And I'm mad at this. Okay, so now we have a formal introduction. I will not be stealing food from you guys, so maybe we can become great friends someday. Okay, it looks like they have an inferior net. Which might actually be something that I want. Eventually. Uh, 
Uh, maybe, maybe I will. I don't know, cause nets are really expensive. I'll just, I'll just buy the stuff that's on me right now. Let's see. Two knives pay for it. Two, two more. Okay. So we got a bunch of food for that, or from that. Not that we already don't have enough. It's always better to have extras, a ton of extras. Or maybe I'm just training, you know, I've got another story. Maybe I'm just training to be a part of the Finnish Navy. And the only way to do that is to sail a million miles on raft. That would actually be an amazing training exercise. Did I go past it? Yes, I did. There it is. So I'm gonna have to pick up that boat and drop it over here. How you doing, buddy? How you doing? We're home. Home sweet home. And I've got my reindeer buddy here with me. Yay. I really want to test out this crossbow. Can I shoot you, reindeer? Oh, I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. Okay, I'll just drop the dried food right here on the floor. It's not gonna go bad anytime soon anyways, so. Um, I'm not exactly sure on what to do here. So we've got leather. How much, how much leather is here? Oh, we got seven pounds of leather, so it's quite a lot. These crude tools aren't gonna actually be efficient enough to use them. The shield might be able, we might be able to scrounge the shield, but pretty much everything else I'm not gonna use. It's just not efficient enough. Maybe I can scrounge up a few more arrows. Okay, and I'll drop my crossbow right by that. So that'll drop a lot of weight off me. I don't actually have any cordage, do I? Eight primitive cord? All right, so I can make eight arrows. Hopefully I'll get proficiently made arrows. Just enough. Is this rotten stuff? Yeah. Okay, weapons. I believe it's in here. Arrow. Five. Oh boy, this is gonna take a long time. I really hope that we get some proficiently made arrows here. I'm really counting on it. Two decent arrows, three rough arrows. So that is not a ratio I want to keep. Three rough arrows? God! Ugh. Rough arrows are not going to be good. I really don't want to shoot them. Not unless I have to. So that'll probably take a couple of years to get my skill proficient enough to make those actually good arrows. Um, I want to set out more branches. I definitely want to set out some more branches to be soap. Let's see, so we've got a 10 there. What, I think it's, is it 20 per? Is it 20 per per cord? Because 5 is 100. I think it's 20. 20, 20 per. Where did I leave all my branches? Did I already turn all my branches into... Or are they in here? Okay. I 
Let's soak all these. Okay, so yeah, it is a hundred, so it is twenty, twenty, twenty each. Crap, I need 92 or 80, 82. 72? No, 72. Right? Okay, I need 90. Or 10. What am I what am I saying? Now I need 9. <laughs> oh, I'm so good at math, aren't I? Okay. Why is that a different thing than all those? Is it because they're inferior? It might be those are the inferior ones. So we're going to have to wait a little bit on that. And I will tr attempt to make arrows out of that. Not sure how well that's going to go. But I will attempt, attempt to make arrows out of it. What can we do? I'm really confused with what I can do here. there's anything in them. Yeah, it's not looking like anything at all. Yeah, absolutely nothing. So there I have my trap fence wall, but I'm pretty sure stuff can just get around that. Since it is frozen over. Maybe I'll do some exploring. Heck, I'll do some exploring. 13 smoked bourbons is not going to be enough to do some exploring. Oh boy, this snow is definitely going to be a problem while we are exploring, though. Since it is going to give us a ton of fatigue. I don't like that. See, this is why I have a ton of time to do stuff in the winter, but the snow stops me from doing it. Like, it's like a swimmer during winter. Oh, it's a freaking badger. You think I'm gonna kill that thing with a broadsword? Yeah, right. You are funny, my friend. You are definitely funny. Okay, maybe I'll see how far east I can get. Maybe I can get to these. Is that the seals or owls? Oh, it's the Kiwika? Is it the Kiwika? I think that's Kiwika. So I think the Kiwekas are the ones that I was talking about who have better stats than the Owl and Seal tribes. It's just, I think they get different rituals. Oh, I should be able to make it down there. Permission to fall a tree. Or fell a tree. <laughs> That's not really a good ritual. So there were some foreign traders there. Usually the foreign traders, all they want is fur. So if you have a ton of fur, trade it to them. And they can get you some chain mail. Goody stuff like that. Bunch of goodies, bunch of goodies. So we're almost there. I know one of these northern tribes is pretty developed. And they actually have um, animals and weapon shops. Like specified shops in their towns. Oh, let's see. Uh, what was I gonna do? So three kilometers, and that is mainly because of the snow. So yeah, it definitely does drag on you. Maybe I can make a torch and go in one of these caves. You know, I'm gonna do it. 
I think I think it's just branches, right? Cody articles, a torch. Okay, there's ten branches. Which I do not happen to have on me. Oh god, I Okay. I forgot. I think I just... I think, I think, I don't think you need to light it up. We're about to test out. Okay, so you do need to light it up. I don't have the stuff to light it up, though. I've never actually been in one of these caves with a torch before, so this is going to be a new experience for me. I'll wait till tomorrow. Okay, so how do I do this? How do, how do I... Maybe do I have to drop it? And then try to light it on fire? More firewood is needed. How does it work? Okay, so it looks like that drops down there. I don't, I don't know how it works, guys. I'm sorry. I, I'm so dumb I don't even know how to use a torch. My bad, guys. My bad. If you guys could tell me, though, that'd be great. I'll probably just look it up after, anyways. Alright, well, let's get out of here. That was a waste of time. Can't even get in there. Well, it looks like these guys are in mountains. Okay, so let, let me check if these are, in fact, the guys who live in the north and have pretty developed towns. I don't think it is, though. It's loading in tents, so... Yeah, it's, it's not looking like it. <sighs> yep, it definitely isn't these guys. But, I do need to talk to a shaman. shaman here well uh that's a bit of a problem seeing as i need to speak to a shaman for him to teach me this ritual okay, that is that is a very big problem why do you guys not have a shaman <coughs> oh 
<coughs> Excuse me. Alright, I guess they don't have a shaman. That is a bummer. Maybe another village? Maybe maybe this village has one. Come on. I'm gonna be faithful in you guys. Maybe that's not the right thing to do. Maybe I should hate these guys because... If you guys don't have a shaman, I'm going to murder every single one of you. Hunters. Kids. No shaman. In sight. Hunters. Come on, you guys have to have a shaman. How do you not have a shaman? Is it one of these guys? Is it one of these guys? Come back here, you douche. I think, I think it, it might be one of these guys. Tribesman, is that it? Uh, it's not. It's the freaking, it's, it's the guy with the little bundle in his hand or whatever, whatever the heck that is. It's a bundle, right? It's a bundle. All right, whatever. <sighs> that really sucks. I suppose these guys don't either. Please? Maybe? Yay! How you doing, sir? Teach me the ritual, and thank you. And my name is Dricolane and Poopy Face McGee. Alright, let's get out of here. Yay, I'm happy now. I think I can end this episode being rather satisfied that I at least found a shaman in one of these villages. If I did not find a shaman in one of these northern villages, I was gonna just stop and punch myself in the face for just a couple seconds. So thanks for watching, guys. If you liked this video, please leave me a like and a comment saying you liked it, saying you want more. Please, 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 it helps a lot. If you have any suggestions, please leave a comment. And thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one. This is Matt from SGS signing out. Bye-bye!